This is just a little full. Just a little. <laughs> and I'm gonna get the help with my Instapot. It's basically all of that. We're just gonna put all of that in. Yeah, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends, here's the aftermath. <laughs> this is what the kitchen looks like. Today is freezer meal day. I am so excited to be in my kitchen because I'm gonna be filling my freezer with some soup. Yes. It's winter, it's January, it's cold, and I decided we're gonna do soups today. Um, I think I'm doing four today. A couple I've already shared before, but they're tried and true and we love them. But I'm gonna be also making for you today easy white chili, also our taco soup recipe, and our minestrone soup recipe. A soup I haven't tried yet is the slow cooker Fiesta chicken soup, which I'm really excited. It sounds so flavorful, I, I, I can't wait. So come along with me as I make up these soups. See if it's something that you wanna put in your rotation. So you can either make these into freezer meals or prep them before and have them in your fridge for the week and just take one out each night for dinner. Aprons on, let's go. I have some hamburger already thawed out, some chicken thawed out, but I am uh, thawing out a few more ground beef. Um, but as that's doing its thing in the microwave, I'm gonna start preparing the onions. Um, basically, all these recipes need onions. So I've got this nifty chopper here. If I can find something close to it, I'll leave a link down below. And I'm just gonna start whoosh, chopping like this and getting a bowl of onions ready to go. And I'm gonna keep all of the, I don't know what this, onion peel and put it in a freezer bag in the freezer and use it for stocks and broths. That was so easy. I'm sure I might need more onions, but we are gonna start off with that. Nice, that was so quick, so quick. I'm gonna get the green pepper chopped up for the taco soup. Now you can take one day and do all the chopping and prep work like this, and then the next day just hit it and assemble them all if you don't have the time. I'm making these smaller than what that chopper does. I do have a smaller piece to it, but I can't find it. Do you have a soup meal that you have noticed freezes up really well or just a yummy soup recipe in general leave it down below we love soups we like trying new soups and i feel like soups can stretch really far as a meal it's like one of those things like as you're making it and you realize like mm, this might not be enough for everybody you just add more stock to it and it stretches and then if you have leftover vegetables you can add them to it like if I am gonna clear out any vegetables in my refrigerator, especially squashes and zucchinis, I will make a soup. Just dump it in there. I'll throw in my minestrone soup. All right, I'm starting to brown up my ground beef. I have two pots here. One is for the minestrone and one is for the taco soup. And we're gonna get this all browned up and then we're just gonna dump everything in here. And I'm not even going to cook it all the way. Like I'm just gonna dump everything in, give it a good mix, and then get it in bags because it's gonna cook later. These are done. I'm gonna turn them off and I'm gonna drain the fat out of these and then we'll start adding things to it. This is the taco soup. This is a easy dump and be done recipe. All right, some onion. All right, we're gonna start just dumping the cans in. This recipe takes kidney beans, some beef broth. If you don't have beef broth, you could use bouillon. I'm probably gonna be doing that today, I'm running low. Uh, some black beans, corn, diced tomatoes, tomato sauce, and taco seasoning. And I'm doubling all these cans, and I'm just gonna dump it in here. All right, I didn't even measure the taco seasoning. I just dump it in. We like a good spice in here. Yes, you don't need to drain. You just dump. My kids love this soup. So I've doubled this recipe. 
This is a great soup to bring to a potluck. So what you do is you have a bowl of cheese with it, some sour cream, you can bring cilantro, you have tortilla chips. That is a lot of soup going on. I'm gonna freeze up some and then we're gonna have this for dinner tonight because it's just so good. So whenever I do a freezer meal, I always make more of one kind, double it or whatever, and that is our dinner. I'm already cooking, so whatever I'm cooking up as a freezer meal is going to be dinner. All right, so at this point, you would just boil it, just cook it, and you're done. You're warming it through. Um, the recipe does say to cook the green peppers and the onions with the ground beef. I didn't do that today, so, because I'm just gonna freeze the majority of it, and whatever I have left, I'll just heat through. It'll be fine. If you freeze this, and then you take it out, thaw it, and reheat it in your pot or your slow cooker, let it get all hot, and then taste it. If you need to add more taco seasoning, add more taco seasoning. That's all you gotta do. Easy recipe, if it needs more flavor. Okay, there are a few ways that you can freeze your soups. One is buying the two gallon Ziploc bags. Perfect for soups. Okay, so you could do it this way. Or you could grab these freezable containers that I got off of Amazon. I'll leave a link down below. Just don't fill it all the way. Just do it to here to leave room for expansion for, um, it's freezing, so it's gonna expand. So leave some room for expansion. These are wonderful, especially if you're only doing like a few servings. But my family loves ice cream and these containers are perfect. So we hold on to a few of the containers from buying ice cream. And this is what we freeze our soup in. I'm gonna fill this up. I'm not gonna fill it all the way, like to here, because like I said, it expands. So I know where, how far I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna add some more taco seasoning. All right, so I have plenty of room for expansion, so I'm just gonna put the lid on throw it in the freezer and we have taco soup for another time. And that's a lot of soup. That will feed my family for one night and leftovers. All right, and the rest is for dinner tonight. I am starting on the minestrone soup, so I'm gonna add the onion in. And I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm gonna add the rest of this onion in. All right, I'm also gonna need 12 cups of water. You can add beef stock instead of water, but I am all out of the beef stock, so I'm gonna add some beef bouillon to this. And if you're not sure how much beef bouillon granules to use, it's basically a teaspoon to a cup. All right, we're gonna add some cans of tomato sauce. We're gonna add some stewed tomatoes in. Okay, I'm gonna add some cans of green beans, drained. Okay, I'm gonna add some cans of drained kidney beans. And then I'm gonna add two cans of the Great Northern beans. Oh my gosh. This is just a little full. Just a little. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna add seasonings and we're done. We're not adding macaroni to this because it's not gonna freeze well. So the day that you cook it is when you will add your macaroni in. All right, so I added salt and pepper. Okay, I am gonna add some Italian seasoning in. And then we're gonna add some red pepper flakes in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix this up and then I'm going to put this into another um, container, like ice cream container. And then I'm gonna put the rest in a Ziploc bag, one of the two gallon ones. Sometimes I'll take my knife and cut up the stewed tomatoes in the can just a little. After you thaw this out, you can cook it in your slow cooker. So if you're heading to work, you could throw this in, put it on low, 
it'll simmer and get nice and warm. And then when you get home from work, you can add your macaroni in and cook it on high. I'm not sure how long. Or just transfer it to a pot if you want. But yep, you're gonna add the macaroni in after, okay? Now, when you go to make this, if you have any leftover vegetables, like I was talking about, your zucchini, or if you've got carrots, or anything, celery, squash, throw it in when you go to uh, heat it up. Now, you could freeze one batch of this, like I'm doing, and save the other batch for during the week. Put it in another big bowl, put it in your refrigerator. Now you've got a dinner for the future, and a dinner for later in the week. And if it needs more seasoning, when you go to reheat it, just add your Italian seasoning in, your red pepper flakes, your salt, pepper, whatever you wanna to add to it. What pastas do you like to put in your minestrone soup? I like to do penne. That just seems to go really well with the kids, but what do you like to put in? All right, that is done. I got plenty of room for expansion, and that's going in the freezer. All right, I need to make some tags for my ice cream containers, but I'm gonna write on this bag um, minestrone soup. And I'm gonna put today's date, and then I'm gonna put add macaroni. There we go. All right, let's fill it up. These nifty bag holder, Ziploc bag holders, I got off of Amazon. I'll leave a link for you guys. Seriously, they're the best. Or you could just use like a container of any kind and hold your bag in and to pour stuff in, you could do that as well. So it makes it really easy. Okay, I'm gonna get the air out of here as much as I can. And I can lay this down flat in my freezer or just stack it in like this. Either way, I think what I'm gonna do is just stack it in. I have plenty of space, but we'll see. All right, look at that big bag. This is why I love the two gallon bags. They hold so much soup, look at that. Ah, oh, awesome. All right, I'm gonna get this in the freezer. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to the chicken recipes and I'm gonna get the help with my Instapot. I'm gonna put the whole big bag of a big five pound bag of chicken breasts but I'm gonna add the chicken breasts to this. There's a half cup of water in there. I'm gonna season them up and I'm gonna cook them for 10 minutes and then we'll add them to the soup recipes. So I couldn't find where my metal rack went and I was in, I think, Smith's and they have these silicone Instapot things that you put in here so I could put anything on top of them. They, it has been so handy. Just gonna do a layer of seasoning as I go. Put the lid, in, lid on, high pressure at 10 minutes. While that's getting to pressure, I'm gonna work on the vegetables for the next two soups. And basically, for my easy white chili, all I need is garlic and onion. Uh, for the slow cooker fiesta chicken, I will need a half cup of carrots and onion and garlic, so. We are set to go, just waiting on the chicken. There it is, all done. All right, so I'm gonna leave the lid off so we can cool down a bit. All right, I've had this Weight Watcher scale forever. This is how I like, can tell the weight of everything I use in the kitchen. So I need a pound of chicken breast and I'm gonna shred it for the slow cooker fiesta soup. All right, so I'm gonna shred this up. Look at that. I guess with my new KitchenAid I could be doing this, but eh, why dirty one more thing? All right, that is done. I also have this container that I got from the Dollar Tree that I used to freeze things in. I'm gonna see if this soup could fit in this one instead of putting it in a bag. Um, I'm not sure because I've never made this one before, but it sounds amazing. 
So I'm just gonna start adding everything in here. So if you were gonna make this just as a slow cooker meal, not a freezer meal, you would just add all your ingredients into the slow cooker and cook for six hours on low. You would put your chicken in your slow cooker raw though, and then like an hour before you eat it, you would take it out and shred it and add it back in. But I figured this way, I could still put this meal in my slow cooker after I thaw it, and I don't have to worry about shredding then, the chicken's already done. I'm gonna mince up some garlic. We're gonna add a half of an onion dice, a half a cup of the chopped carrots, a half a cup of corn. You can use frozen corn. Um, that's what I would probably do, I would recommend, but I'm just gonna add some canned corn because that's what I have. I'm gonna add some oregano some ground cumin, one 10 ounce can of Rotel tomatoes, this is mild, and these Rotel tomatoes have um, green chilies in them. And then a can of chicken broth or stock. This is one lime juice, but I don't have a lime, so I do have this lime juice. So I'm just going to put a cap full or two in there. And then one cup of the salsa verde. So we're gonna add this one in. All right, we're gonna give this a mix. Yeah, I could definitely double this. I think one of these won't, yeah, this won't feed my whole family. So I would double it. Wow, I just tasted it and the flavor is amazing. All right. I am going to double this. Yep. Okay. I want to show you what I've been doing. Over the years, I have an index card with the recipe on it and the instructions. And sometimes I'll just tape it to this <laughs> or the aluminum if I wrap it in aluminum foil. These cards never, they just always stay in this. Um, baggy. I reuse them and I reuse them. I think I sh shared this with you before on another video. Um, but that's how I do it. Just simple, simple. All right, we're going to use this container and make the chicken chili. So what I'm going to do is take four of the chicken breasts and chop them up. Okay, I'm gonna add the onion. It's basically all of that. We're just gonna put all of that in. Yeah, that looks good. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mince up four garlic cloves. All right, I'm gonna add some chicken stock in here, but I do have another can that I used, so I'm just gonna measure out like three cans. I can't remember what this equals to. So not even two and a half cans, a one quart box of stock, just so you know. I have one more can of broth left. So we'll add that in. So now you know a quart is two, maybe like close to two and a half cans in it. We're gonna add two cans of diced green chilies and these are medium heat. Okay, we're also in this soup gonna add two teaspoons of cumin and two teaspoons of oregano, and one and a half teaspoons of cayenne pepper. And lastly, we're gonna just add a white bean, these great northern beans in, so five cans. I'm gonna drain them. Well, it says undrain, but I'm definitely gonna make sure I have enough space. All right, I'm only gonna do three cans, even though the recipe says five. Whatever, I can add more later when I go to cook it, but I wanna leave enough space for it to expand in the freezer. I'm gonna get the tag for this and get it on top. So for this one, I don't have an old tag, so I'm gonna create a new one. White chicken chili. I am gonna leave a note saying add two more cans of beans. Simmer for 
20 to 30 minutes. So this recipe I can do on the stove top or in the slow cooker. Like I said with the other soups, add more seasonings when you go to heat them up. And we are good to go. Okay friends, here's the aftermath. <laughs> I have some extra cans so I could put all those down in the food room of beans and tomatoes and so it's time to clean this up. This is, yeah. <laughs> I cleaned some along as I went but it got a little crazy so not too bad over here. And then I have the taco soup just warming up for dinner. It's close to three o'clock and then I'm gonna turn this off pretty soon and dinner's done. Everyone can just come grab a bowl. Um, yeah, we have tutoring tonight, right after the kids get out of school, so when they come home, all they have to do is grab a bowl out of here. If it needs heating up, they could just put it in the microwave. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a clean with me in this video too, so let's get this all cleared up in time for the kids to come home from school. They will be here in 40 minutes, so I'm gonna get this cleaned up, and then I'm gonna throw some pants on. Yeah, I did this whole video in my jammy bottoms. You gotta be comfy. You gotta be comfy. <laughs>